The Lord's Supper, part one of the Easter story. Jesus went to celebrate the Passover festival together with his friends, the disciples. Passover is the most important yearly festival for the Jewish people and begins by sharing a meal together. Jesus sent Peter and John into town to prepare for the feast. He told them they would meet a man on the way and that they should follow him to the house he was going to, then ask the owner there for a room where they could celebrate. Everything happened just as Jesus foretold. When Jesus and his disciples started the celebration, Jesus took some water and started washing his disciples' feet. Peter didn't think Jesus should do that. It was not the custom for a teacher to wash the feet of his students. Normally it would be the other way around. Jesus explained, this is an example of how you should treat each other. Follow my example. No one should look down on anyone else. Instead, help each other, lift each other up, always be ready to do good things for each other, even when it's something humbling, like washing each other's feet. When they started to eat, Jesus took the bread, broke it, and gave a piece to each of his disciples. This bread stands for my body that I will give up for you. After that, he took a cup of wine and passed it around. This wine stands for my blood that I will shed in order to forgive all your mistakes. When you celebrate Passover, always remember that my death has saved you from eternal death, that I have defeated death itself. Then Jesus looked sad, and he told his disciples, One of you will betray me to my enemies. The disciples started to ask each other who would do such a thing. Peter stood up and promised Jesus, I will never betray you. I would even die for you. But Jesus said to him, Peter, tonight, by the time the sun rises, you will deny three times that you even know me. Jesus knew that his disciple Judas was the one who would betray him. And after dinner, Judas left to tell Jesus' enemies where they could find him. After this all happened, Jesus took his disciples away to a garden to pray.